power swing followed by zone 2 fault. Now let us verify zone 2 tripping. We will create a power swing condition followed by zone 2 fault. To start this, first let us verify the settings. 0 0.0753 ohms per kilometer and the total line length is 252.7. So 0 0.0753 times 252.7 equals 19.015. This is the total line length impedance. 80% of 19.015 will give us 15.212 ohms. This is zone 1 impedance. And for zone 2, 150% of 19.015 will give us 28.57 ohms. Now we will move the locus inside zone 2 and hold the state such that the impedance is more than zone 1 but less than zone 2. So state 7, we are creating a zone 2 fault with these values. Now let me run the state. Power swing detected followed by zone 2 fault and an auto reclose to lockout. Now let us analyse event record. The Siemens online spontaneous list displays the power swing detect and zone 2 tripping process. The power swing detected on time at 9 hours, 45 minutes, 13 seconds and 6.45 milliseconds, as shown in parameter number 04164. And it's turned off at 9 hours, 45 minutes, 13 seconds and 6.15 milliseconds as highlighted. The difference between the power swing detected off and the on time results in 5 milliseconds, for which the distance protection will be blocked. In parallel, the distance protection is also turned off and on depending on the status of PSB. Parameter number 03653 shows the distance function is currently active. Parameter number 03817 shows three-phase fault in zone 2 and tripped at 300 milliseconds, resulting in unsuccessful auto-recloser.